Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reichland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great, twin-tailed comet that some priests warned was nothing less than a hammer of Sigma. They preached tidings of doom and repentance, but their sermons were ignored. An attitude of rebellious revelry gripped the city as the comet grew ever nearer. The grand festival to celebrate the turn of the year was a mockery of the apocalyptic prophecies. It was then that the hammer fell. The fiery comet plowed through the city, gouging a deep crater in the midst of the poor quarter. The wondrous palace of Count Steinhard was broken. The grand amphitheater shattered. The vast great library blighted by a pall of ash. Fire and smoke decimated the populace, but worse awaited the survivors. A malignant corruption that brought with it mutation and madness. The vile taint of chaos. In the shattered city, strange green-black stones were discovered. Strange energies emanated from these shards. Warlocks and alchemists experimented with these word stones and soon determined that their uncanny properties could work wonders. Word stone could heal the sick, regenerate the old, or even turn base metal to gold. Lust for Wordstone focused avaricious eyes upon ruined Mordheim. Treasure hunters descended upon the city, vying with both mutated horrors that claimed the ruins as their own, and crusading zealots who sought to prevent the taint from spreading. Inhuman creatures filtered into Mordheim, staking their own claims. An endless pilgrimage of the greedy and ambitious fighting and dying in a place now called the City of the Damned. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mordheim, City of the Damned. This is a game that my, a friend of mine recommended to me yesterday, and I looked up a YouTube video, was like, ah, oh, looks fun. Tested it out for my own. I did, I only did the tutorial so far, and I'm very much enjoying this game. So, I decided to do a surprise video, you could say, because I was planning on doing something else today than uh, more time, but, well, this game was so much fun, I thought I might as well share it with you guys, but failures might be uh, very common in this video, because this is literally my first time playing anything but the tutorial, so let's have a look. I've never <laughs> even been in this, in this screen. New Warband. Choose your Warband. What do we have? Yeah. Oh, shit. Witch Hunters were found in the early days of the Empire, commonly known as the Witch Hunter. These warriors root out evil, where it hides amongst men, depraved chaos girls, hideous and blah blah. So they're like. they hunt bad stuff, I guess. Yeah. Human mercenaries. The province, they're just soldiers, basically. And we have the Sisters of Sigmar, which are like. sort of monks. Active station, blah 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 blah. Which is, and but they're like wizards and monks for s who follow Sigmar. <laughs> Cult of the possessed. What is this? They're chaos. If for those who are well versed in the Warhammer and Warhammer 40k lore, you guys will probably know what chaos is. Okay, they have like probably zombies, mutants. 
dark wizards possess things, whatever, shadow lords. They sound cool. Scaven. Skaven? Scaven? Correct me on my my pronunciation here, but not well not that well versed in Warhammer Lorses. I'm gonna call them Skaven. Skaven or Skaven, yeah, that sounds right. They're like rats, basically. Rat people. Okay, and then we have the undead. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I think we're gonna be the undead. War, Total War Warhammer, and I did enjoy playing the vampire count, so I figure we're gonna do that. You have been paid a great honor by our lord and master, Count Vlad von Karstein. Among his subjects, living and undead, it is you who have been entrusted with this important task. I wonder if you appreciate the enormity of the task ahead of you. The master expects much from you. I can sense your suspicion of me. It is true that I once served Queen Neferata, but it is in the halls of Drakenhof that my loyalty is now bound. Do you see this ring? It is Count Vlad's token, his sign that Baroness Katarina von Dernsbach is his vassal and agent. Beware, for I am his eyes and ears in Mordheim. What I learn, the Master will know. Look upon the ruin of Mordheim. The mortals fear this desolation. Only the bold or desperate come here to scavenge and steal. Only the most fanatical come here to claim this devastation for their gods. The earth, the waters, even the very air have become tainted by the dark energies that have wrought this destruction. Nothing that lives can linger here long without being transformed in either flesh or spirit. Such concerns matter little to us. Our magic will sustain us against the malignity of the ruins. For the danger is little when set against the reward. The power that lies scattered about Mordheim offers a key to feats of necromancy not dead since Great Nagash walked the land. Littered about the ruins are the weird stone shards, vessels of incredible arcane energies. In the hands of Count Vlad, these shards will transform the world, tearing down the fractious realms of men. Your duty is clear. Find the weird stone, and you will have a share in Count Vlad's mighty ambition. Fail him, and I promise you will find there is no escape from his rage. Even in the grave. Well, we best not make our master angry, I think. Since he's like one of the most powerful vampires in the world or whatever. My war camp. More times to do the dam is a game about making the most of a dire situation. Where have I read that before? Alright, Darkest Dungeon. We're gonna get destroyed by this game. <laughs> Hardcore experience. Yes, okay, I am going to die in many, many ways. So, warband management. This is literally the first time I'm doing all this, so bear with me. This might be a bit boring. Click on any warrior to further customize their equipment. Okay, leaders and heroes moon. Okay, so we have a leader. Is this... That's available to... Oh, this is my war... Excuse me, my warband. So we can we can hire a hero. Okay. Hire warrior. He's ugly. He looks like he's from Fallout. He's pretty casual. That's a zombie. That's zombie-ish. And the ugly guy again. Oh more ugly. Maybe I should actually be looking... Uh, I, I kind of want to have the zombie, like... What does he have? Immune to all alone fear and terror test. Immune to poison. Cannot buy the lads. Got talents. Given falling out of action. Does not lower the warband's moral. This warrior can't use consumable. Let's just take a zombie, because, well, it's a bloody zombie. Task. Come He's a hero. Why is he even a hero? Uh, we want more guys. We already have a zombie. Maybe we shouldn't have to, like, can I go back and change my hero, because... 
we're gonna take some fire. Oh, we'll, we'll take this guy. He looks cool. What, what does he have? Immune to breedable poison effects such as globes, most traps, and certain spell. Reduces movement range by one meter. Strength definitely. His agility is pretty good. Alertness. Seven. I guess we'll. Any no injuries. No history. Let's let's take him. We have we have five hundred tasks completed. So now we take some henchmen. Which I'm gonna take two of these zombies, just regular casual zombies. And now I'm gonna take the weird the weird one. What does he actually have? Always fights to the dead. Prevents the use of flee and retreat. Immune to all alone. Mm. And we bring immune to all alone fear and terror. This warrior can't use consumables. The warrior is accustomed to corpses and is immune to the to death stench. Not sure what death stench does, but I guess that's positive. Let's buy him. Alright. Cool. We have. What does he have? Immune to poison. Boris von Karstein. Karstein? Karstein? We have no inventory. I guess we're not gonna buy any weapons. I kinda wanna just go back. Back to war by hand. Back to camp. Shop. Let's not do shop. Let's do campaign. Alright. <coughs> Visit the campaign screen. Yeah, missions. Alright. Let's send scouts. Because we can. Discover the potential location for a mission. Normal, poor, very poor. Poor, very poor. But does it mean like. What, what does it even mean, poor? The scavengers, the hunter in darkness, vision of dread. I think this is gonna be easier. Because it doesn't have a skull. So let's. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts, you quickly discover that you aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. So we need... Counter and secure 55% of wordstones and kill... A new round has started. Okay, we need a map. There's a wordstone here. Those are bad guys. Are probably gonna be like. Uh, let's let's get that one. Is there an enemy on that? Up on that bridge. See, so where is this word zone? Like, is it there? Is that? No, it's not. Fun. It's not this. Seriously, where is it? <laughs> I'm lost already. Where is this bloody word stone? Where is it? Now, you know, it's success. If we, if we lost health for jumping down because we don't find the worst, so it's, it's gonna be in here. We can't get that far. I can. Since 
we can't get that far, I'm just gonna have him position here. Ambush. What is poison glove? Let's not throw a poison glove, let's position him here. No poison glove, ambush. Now it's the enemy's turn. We can't see it because they're out of our line of sight. Like the combat is basically, if you have ever played a pen and paper RPG, this is how the combat works. Like here on top, there's uh, initiative. Whoever has the highest initiative will go first, and then there's movements. And as you could see, like when we went up on the wall and down we had to roll an agility test to see whether or not we would we were capable of climbing that and clearly capable of jumping down so really it really is like uh, a pen and paper RPG which is really fun like I like this game if only we could find the bloody words though man. oh we could actually we were up there Let's go. We shouldn't really split up too much. Is that the word zone then? Yes, that's it. Objectives updated. Let's... we have two movements. Let's use our two movements to... Uh, scout? Use our perception at least. Can we see... can't see if it's the enemy. So yeah, let's go into ambush stance. Enemy turn again. Let's see... <coughs> What will happen? Alright, our weird, it's a ghoul. Here I am saying it's a zombie. Seriously. The eyes in the walls are quite a bit disturbed. Let's see. Just, make, just gonna put them all into ambush stance. That way, if an enemy comes into their ambush, uh, in their their ambush range, they will attack it. They are taking all the word stones. So they have like three already. We have one. What are those sounds? Alright, Piotr. Piotr the zombie. Let's go, mate. Oh, he can't walk very far now, can he? Wait, there was a... Oh, we picked that one up. Let's go for, like, these ones. Come on, Piotr. I wish not. I should have not left. Well, the zombies are probably decent. I just can't move very far. Also in ambush time. <laughs> if there comes an enemy around that corner, he's gonna be pretty fucked. Alright, well, oh, and they all have to take turns now because they are they were they had lowest initiative. Just gotta wait now. Wonder if we'll meet an enemy in this first in this first round. A new round has started. All right, a new round. Like, kind of want to take this, but where the hell is it? 
I'm gonna try and get it again, so I'm gonna waste an awful lot of time. Walking around with this fella. What, oh, Objectives nice. updated. Is it the one we were looking for? Oh, that's bad. That's a debuff. It's not the one we were looking for, but I will. Guess it's better than nothing. Oh, no, no. It's ambush, but really isn't necessary because it's a melee character. And I think the enemies are going to come up this ledge. Would very much surprise me if they did. They are taking all the word stones, aren't they? We still need to take eight, there's like ten left. Will it work if we just kill them and take their word stones? Probably. Oh, well, they took them all, didn't they? We have to take them all now in order to complete our objective. It's gonna be quite a fight. Still quite a lot of them. Objectives updated. As we can like we can take three in a I just get a deep of more, more perfect Objectives updated. I think it's the deep of least. Yeah, look at weapon skills like minus five. That is not okay. Maybe I should have had the zombies. Objectives updated. Take him. Can I get some more? Purple thing. And we want to go through the building. There's some scavengeable material here. <gasps> There's an enemy. I think if we position ourselves here. Are we going to ambush? Pretty much gonna wreck anybody that tries to come through here. Is up next. Uh, I'm gonna have him go the long way around. Oh, cool. Not sure what that was. Gift of Savagery. Saver. Uh, Savlop. If only I could talk English. Now that would make for a good video, right? If I. Oh, yes, we found enemy zombies. Are they not like, shouldn't they be like our friends? Uh, ambush didn't quite work. But we got, we got a, we get, no we don't get a counter attack. So it's the zombies up next. I'm gonna keep the zombies together because they're slower. They probably can't really get to help fast enough. Piotr the zombie. Love that name for a zombie. Go with an ambushed stance. Waiting to drop. Oh well. Ripper. Ooh, look at that. He's just getting absolutely destroyed. He's stunned now. Should help. It's two versus one. And they're probably all gonna gang up on him because he's the first one spotted. At least I would assume that. Claudius, Claudius, oh, that's, yeah, he's not gonna join us. Good. Let's get, at least it's not three against one then. A new round has started. But now helps help is on the way. Ah, damn it! He took killing damage. Let's 
sadly, those are zombies and they will be immune to poison, won't they? Like, try, let's try anyway. Oh, no, we actually took damage. I'm gonna take ambush stance in case they try to come for me. Let's go for that one. Oh, yeah, I'm just like, oh, that's, oh my god. Okay, 65 damage, that's insane. He's our leader. Hope he's not gonna die. Oh, shit, there's their leader. I think we're in quite a bit of trouble here. Bit of a bit too much than we can chew. I fear are in this nigh. see him. <laughs> Where is he? Terrorist. Why? Oh my god. Nice. He's the all oh, awesome stuff from our little rat. Very, very nice. Those zombies are just, the zombies just killing my ghoul. Alright, Piotr. Be the hero. Be the hero your mother wanted you to be. God, he can't even make it far enough. Damn it, Piotr. Why do you have to disappoint us like that? Oh, nice. The poison is paid off. But sadly, our ghoul is dead. So that means our little poison rat map is going to be four, 3 against 1. At least 3 against 1. Or video. Or video, whatever you call it, man. You gotta help out the leader. Man. Piotr can go help out. Uh, the other guys, like. Wait, they have. Ah, oh, little rat guy is four against one. He's dead. Like. There's just nothing we can do to, to save him. Well, that's our leader dead. Objectives updated. Come on, man. The warband morale is critically low. Of course, the warband morale is critically low. He killed the bloody leader. At least Piotr is now gonna have a go. Come on, Piotr. Save the day. Please. A new round has started. Well, damn, we're out here. If there was a face cam in this video, you could see me doing a face palm. Well. Have you cheated your grave so long only to fail in the final hour? Yeah, I think we did. That was, uh... Well, it was quite brutal that our leader took like 65 damage at the start of the of the battle and then our zombies were just far too far too slow to catch up and do anything meaningful in combat except for the last ambush we did at the end but that's just how it works that's just how this game is it fucks you up just like darkest dungeon does or in this in this game you might even just have yourself to blame a bit more than you do in Darkest Dungeon. Which makes things... Um, which really only makes things worse. Fortune. Out of action and consequently behind. During the ride, this warrior eventually returns to the warband. However, some equipment may have been left behind. Well, he lost his... He lost his, uh, his shield. Even through the horrors of more time, this warrior managed to return to safety. Oh, without losing. Then where the hell is his shield, man? Chest wound. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> At least he got two experience for surviving. Most valuable warrior was the only one that did uh, any damage. One martial advancement. Is this Piotr? Or can I see his name? I don't think this is Piotr. This is Piotr. I have no idea. No, oh, he didn't lose anything. Cool. He, sur he at least didn't take any crazy damage.
Oh, that went horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. So he's gotta get healed. And we gotta pay him as well. We have to pay everyone separately because that's like... Oh, I'm actually gonna just pay everything in. Well, that went horribly wrong. Um, I think we're just gonna quit here, otherwise the video will be like five hours long and then nobody will want to watch it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked seeing me fail. This was uh, quite, quite uh, embarrassing actually. But to be fair, this is my first mis first ever mission in more time, City of the Damned. And as you can see, it's not really an easy game. But it's pretty fun. I like it. If you want to see me play more and more time, just sure, be sure to let me know. I will probably play it on stream tomorrow, I believe. So if you want to see me failing in more time live, be sure to tune in on Twitch tomorrow evening from 7 onwards, 7 at GMT plus 1. For whatever respective hour it is uh, in your country. I hope to see a lot of you then, and well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I thank you guys very much for watching. Now I'm gonna train a bit to not fail too much on stream tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys next time.